Well, we just won $9,000 on Family Feud for the Sega Genesis. Let's see what happens in Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the Sega Genesis, shall we? Sitting up there somewhere in one of these categories. You know what the categories? The movies, design, U.S. states, myths and legends, religion, and finally, body of water. All right. These are great categories. I want to start things off with body of water for 100. Lake Nicaragua forms part of Nicaragua's border with this rich coast. What is Costa Rica? You are correct. Bodies of water for 200. The Madeira, a tributary of this South American river, is more than 2,000 miles long. Uh, what is the Amazon? I'll take bodies of water for 300. Louisiana's Atchafalaya River flows into the into Atchafalaya Bay in this body of water. What is the Gulf of Mexico? Oops. I'll take uh, bodies of water for 400. I have 600 bucks at this point in the game. In 1963, the Supreme Court upheld Arizona's claim to share a major or share to a major share of the water of this river. What is the Colorado River? You are correct. And we'll go uh, bodies of water for 500. And the answer there is. Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya all border on this, Africa's largest lake. What is Lake Victoria? And that'll put me right at $1,500, and I ran the category like it was nada. You are correct. $1,500. Well, I've been running. Could I have design for $100? Oak Park, a Chicago suburb, has been called the Museum of His Prairie School of Architecture. Um, who is Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright? You are correct. A uh, design for 200. I've got a good amount of money right now sitting in front of me. The Romans used colored stone or glass backed by gold foil to make these intricate artworks. Lynn. Mosaics, yeah. Alright. You are correct. So now Lynn has her first bit of cash and she gets to make the next selection. US states for a hundred. Green Bay in this state is the smallest city to hold an NFL franchise. What is Wisconsin? You are correct. I'll take U.S. States for 200. State that was the birthplace of both Abe Lincoln and Jefferson Davis. What is Kentucky? Oh, I can't tie it. Sorry. You are correct. Let's go with the United States for 300. I'm actually not using a controller to play this game. I'm using my keyboard. Largest of the new six New England states, it's the most sparsely populated state east of the Mississippi. What is Maine? You are correct. 
Yes, it's for 400. When the first Mormon pioneers came to Utah, it was part of this country. What is... I'll just take a guess and say what is Spain, but I don't know. Sorry? No, so I'm going to lose $800. It's going to, or I'm going to lose $400. Excuse me, it's going to weigh me incorporated. I have a clue now, but I'm not 100% sure. Does Ian know the answer? Oh, Mexico. Oh, derp. It wasn't, yeah, a, it wasn't a European country. It was uh, Mexico. All right. We're going on. Missing legends for 100. The phrase, beware of Greeks bearing gifts, comes from this gift given to the Trojans. Uh, what is the Trojan horse? Myths and Legends for 200. The dragon who guarded this was lulled to sleep by Medea, who loved Jason. What is the Golden Fleece? You are correct. 300 uh, Myths and Legends. An ocean liner named for this Greek god of the sea capsized in a 1972 adventure film was Poseidon. You are correct. A 400 myths and legends. Chiron was the greatest of these creatures who was half man, half horse. Uh, what is a centaur? Myths and Legends 500. After Ulysses, these men made pigs of themselves. This witch goddess turned them to swine. Who is Circe? You are correct. $3,300, and I ran that category. Let's go back to U.S. States for 500. State named for Spaniards for an imaginary isle in the novel Las Sergas de Esplandian. Lynn. California. Alright. You are correct. I'm putting Lynn at $700 and she gets to make the next selection. Or two. Religion for 100. The Druids believed this was immortal and passed at death from one person to another. Ian. Nope. You're going to lose $100. So that $100 is now going to Whammy Incorporated. Nope. Another $100 going to Whammy Incorporated. So that's $600 lost from all three of us so far. Oh, the soul. All right. Lynn? Religion 200. This Protestant denomination became the official Danish religion in 1536. Ian? Nope. So we're going to add another $200 to Whammy Incorporated's bank. Now $800. Lynn? Oh, Luther. Lutheranism. Alright. You are correct. So that you know, credits Lynn with a correct response, and she goes again. Which is designed for 300. After the Great Fire of London, he oversaw a rebuilding of 51 churches in addition to St. Paul's. Lynn. Oh, Christopher Columbus? No, Christopher Wren. You are correct. Could have been Christopher Columbus. It was Christopher Wren. All right. Go again, Lynn. 
Religion 300. The current holder of this title was born in China in 1935 and fled to India, fled to exile in India in 1959. What is the, who is the Dalai Lama? I'll take religion for 400, please. Founded in Japan in 1930, Soka Gakkai combines politics and this religion. Ian. Oh, Buddhism. All right. You are correct. That's good for 400. This is religion 500. This island country is the most populous Muslim nation in the world. What is Indonesia? You are correct. That's good for 500. Uh, let me have design for 400, please. I don't feel all that comfortable in this category, so I'd like to do just 400, please. No, no, can I take that back? I'll take that back. I'm going to do just 100. Here's the clue. These fantastic figures, human and animal, were so named because they were first found in a grotto. Don't know. So I'm only giving up $100 to Whammy Incorporated. Grotesques. Grotesques. At this point, Whammy Inc. is now profiting $900, and I have 4000 and I'm going to go with a uh, design for 500. Vise de Vendier Ro designed a famous chair that shares its name with the Spanish city. In Barcelona. All right. You are correct. Ian doubles his money to a thousand dollars. So we go to the next clue. The movies for a hundred. Bette Midler made her film debut as a ship passenger in this 1955 Missioner Island saga. Oh, Hawaii. You are correct. Hawaii, that's correct. Alright. This Oscar-winning 1959 film is partially set in the Valley of the Lepers. What is Ben-Hur? Three hundred. He went to Oxford on an Oregon scholarship long before he started in ten. Who is Dudley Moore? Oh. Herp. Uh. Derp. You are correct. Four hundred. Forty-five hundred dollars at this point. Elizabeth Taylor saying, send in the clowns in this movie musical, and we're not clowning. <laughs> in. Oh, a little night musical. A little night music. Okay. Now the last clue for 500. This German silent film about a vampire was remade with Klaus Kinski in 1979. Oh. Oh. Nosferatu. Alright. So I'm in the lead with $4,500. Lynn has $1,700. Ian has $1,400. He's in last place. So he will get to make the first selection in the round of, which we're going to start right now. Other values doubled, two daily doubles up there on the board, and tougher clues. Let's see if the categories sound tougher. The 19th century. Alaska. Plays. Toys. Fruits, and finally, animal trivia. Alright, well we'll see. Some of the categories sound challenging, the others don't sound too bad. Okay? Ian, we'll start with you. You have just $1,400. Alaska for 200 the forget-me-not isn't the state's motto, it's this. What is the state flower? You 
Oh, let's go for 400. 400. Alaska celebrated its centennial in 1967, 100 years after it was purchased from this country. What is Russia? Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. Alaska for 600. The Maritime Indians had no writing and used these posts to keep records. Uh, what are totem poles? You are correct. Alaska for 800. This Alaskan variety of grizzly bear is one of the world's largest carnivores. What is a Kodiak bear? What is the Kodiak bear? Oh, oh, oh. You are correct. Alaska for a thousand. In the early 19th century, this was Alaska's main export, but now it's a small percent of the economy. Ian. Nope. Say goodbye to one thousand dollars. That one thousand you lost is going straight to Whammy Incorporated. I think I might have somewhat of a clue, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold back for right now. Lynn. Nope. So there goes a thousand dollars for Lynn. She now is the Whammy Incorporated is now profiting two thousand nine hundred dollars. If I were to guess on this, I would say fish. No, it's fur. Fur, so I would have been wrong. Uh, animal trivia for 200. It has a short mane that extends from the back of the head over six feet down to the shoulders. Uh, what is the lion? Oh, darn. Now I lose $200, and that's going to Whammy Incorporated. No. So we're going to put another $200 in the Whammy Incorporated Bank. Ugh. What are we going to do? Oh, the giraffe. Giraffe, okay. Let's go with Animal Trivia for 400 please. Each arm of an octopus has two rows of these on it. Oh, suckers. Okay. You are correct. Animal featured in the title of Mark Twain's first collection of stories. What is a frog? You are correct. Uh, let's have animal trivia for 800, please. It spends the day almost completely submerged in water and comes out at night to graze. Lynn. Oh, the hippopotamus. All right. You are correct. There's a national refuge specifically of herds for uh, for herds of these animals near Jackson, Wyoming. Lynn. No. So there goes one thousand dollars again. Whammy Incorporated is now profiting four thousand three hundred dollars. Ian. No. Sorry. Ian's in the hole. We're adding another $1,000. Bam. 
And uh, they're now profiting $5,300 from this game, Wamey Incorporated, that is. Elks. Elks. All right. Len, your turn. 19th century for 200. By 1849, this country had lost half of its territory to the U.S. What is Mexico? You are correct. Uh, let's have 19th century for 400, please. There we go. I have a big lead right now, $7,100. Let's go 2900 Here's the clue in the 19th century. Talk about young. In 1890, this Dutch queen ascended to the throne at age 10. Who is Queen... Beatrice? Sorry. Oh, that is incorrect. No, but correct it's it's Wilhelmina. 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 So we're giving up $2,900 to Wamey Incorporated. They're now profiting $8,200. And I will take uh, 19th century for 600 The 1899 Hague Conference put a five-year ban on the use of projectiles dropped from these. Lynn. Nope. Sorry. So we're adding another $600. They're now profiting $8,800. Ugh. Ian. Balloons, all right. You are correct. Mm. Place for 200. His comedy Private Lives is set entirely in France, not in England. Lynn. Nope. Sorry. She's almost in the hole right now. Wamey Incorporated is now getting $9,000 this game. Ian. Oh, Noel Coward. You are correct. Ian, you're out of the hole now. Fruits for 200. The city of George Washington has streets named after varieties of this fruit. Uh, what is an apple? Sorry. Oh, dang it. So another $200 going to Whammy Incorporated. They're now getting $9,200. Ian? No? Sorry. I think Ian just wants to stay on the negative side. He doesn't even want to try. Lynn. Cherries. Oh. You are correct. All right. In 1864, the International Red Cross was founded in this European country. What is Switzerland? Let's have a uh, 19th century for 1,000. Though unable to navigate its length, in 1846, Sir John Franklin founded this long-sought route. No. So Lynn will join Ian in the hole. And we will put in another $1,000 in the Whammy Incorporated Bank, which they're now getting $10,400 alone. No, Looking for the Northwest Passage. All right. Okay. Uh, let's have fruits for 400, please. Cross a grapefruit with this, and you get a tangelo. What is a tangerine? You 
are correct. Birds for 600. Of annuals, biennials, or perennials, what fruit crops are? What are perennials? You are correct. Fruits for 800? Tannin in this orange colored date plum can cause your mouth to pucker when taking a bite. In. Oh, persimmon. All right. You are correct. Ian's back on the plus side again. We go on. Toys for 200. This toy is made of 57 feet of wire twisted into about 92 coils. That's all. What's a slinky? You are correct. Toys for 400. I'm up to six thousand dollars at this point in the game. A six-pointed piece of metal that's picked up between bounces of a rubber ball. What's a jack? You are correct. I'll take toys for six hundred. The toy, the toy company that introduced the plastic frisbee in 1957. What is whammo? Oh, I can't tie it. You are correct. A toys for 800. AC Gilbert got the idea for this toy while watching a high tension tower being built. Uh, what is the erector set? You are correct. A toys for a thousand. Though it looks like a microwave, the Kenner Easy Bake Oven still uses this to cook the cake. What is a light bulb? You are correct. Uh, we're going to go with uh, fruits for a thousand. The name of this small citrus fruit used in preserves means golden orange in Cantonese. What is a kumquat? You are correct. 400, please. $9,800 at this point in the game. In this nostalgic musical, the pink ladies are a girls gang. Uh, what is Grease? You are correct. 600. I'm not feeling all that confident in this category, so I would just like to do 200 only. Here's the clip. By the end of Jay and Barry's Peter Pan, she flies so badly she has to use a broomstick. Who is Wendy? You are correct. Oh, I'm right. All right. Uh, 800. He won the 1984 Pulitzer Prize for his play, Glen Gary Glenn Ross. Lynn? It is David Mamet. Alright. You are correct. Let's go ahead and take a look at that last clue for a thousand. Just back on the plus side. Paul Schofield started the original run of this play and won the Oscar for the film version. I got nothing on this one. Lynn. Nope. She will not be around for Final Jeopardy. Whammy Incorporated is now getting eleven thousand four hundred dollars. Ian, a man for all seasons. All right. 
You are correct. So Ian has 1,600. I have 10,400. And Lynn, you will not be around for Final Jeopardy. Speaking of Final Jeopardy, let's look at the category. Cotton. The clue. I'm just going to do 400 only. This Tennessee city of major cotton market has held an annual cotton festival since 1931. I'm not all that confident, so I'm just going to say what is the manifest. What? I got it right? Well, Ian got it wrong. He only loses $200, so that's 11600 Whammy Inc. is getting. Whereas Alex is going to get $10,800. And we will go ahead and wrap it up for this segment. And I'll see you all for the next one.